Hi, it's Andrew Owsley with Unison Media, and I am here to talk to you about websites. I hate to tell you, but you need a website. It is the only place where you can completely control and curate the presentation of your digital assets online. It is a very powerful narrative tool. So you need one. It's got to be fast. It's got to be beautiful. It's got to be responsive to all different screen sizes and devices. And above all, it's got to be functional. So what do I mean by functional? It needs to address the needs of all of the different people who come to your site. You're going to have various parts of the industry visiting your site. So a presenter might need to come and just get your bio, be able to download it as a Word doc. A uh, media might come and want to see where you're performing next. They might want to be able to get high resolution photos or know who to contact or how to get in touch with you or management or publicity. You might just have fans who want to bask in the glory of your music making and they might want to just look at great videos of you or learn more about how to get to your social media accounts or, or just who you are and what you're about. So your website has got to have a navigation and a structure that is clear to any of those people so that they can get what they need and get out as quickly as possible. That is the goal of a website at the present moment. So what are the pages you need on this website? You have to have a home page. We generally favor having a home page that scrolls and that presents a consolidated picture of you without having anybody have to navigate anywhere in the navigation menu. So having a little, a couple of sentences about who you are, what you do, what you're about from a high level narrative standpoint, a really good video, your next concert, a couple of the latest news items about you, your social media links, uh, uh, sign up for your newsletter, just kind of the most important aspects of who you are and what you're about. You need a bio page. It should have a mid-length bio to a short bio. You don't want your super long data dump laundry list bio in that in your website. You should have a link to download the press kit and that should go to like a Dropbox or Google folder where you've got your high resolution photos, Word doc bios of all lengths, etc. Then you should have a news page if you're going to update it. If you're not going to update it, then people are going to think you're dead if they don't see any news for the last year and a half. So only have it if you're going to update it a couple times a year at least. But a news page allows you to tell the milestone moments of your career and shape the narrative of your own momentum and your own development as an artist. So awards that you win, big performances or debuts, record releases, anything that, that is important to your career, you want that represented in the news section so somebody can come and see what's been going on with you. So that's valuable. Schedule goes without saying if you're a touring musician, people want to know where they can see you, where you're playing, what you're up to. Um, you want to have press section. Once you start to get press, reviews, features, interviews, you want to show that you are validated as an artist by external forces. So great pull-out quotes from reviews or like a really powerful interview you did. That's stuff you want represented on your website. And you want those pull-out quotes represented, dotted throughout the site to, again, show that other people are talking about you favorably. So you want to have photos and videos, uh, the best of the best. Do not share all of them. Share only the best of them for both photos and videos. Less is more. Um, obviously, you want to contact. You should have, if you have management, publicity, those should be on there. Otherwise, do a contact form. Don't put your, in, don't put your email out on the internet. There's a lot of weird people out there. Uh, so just use an anonymous contact form. And if you're a composer, you should obviously have a whole section for your works. If you're a soloist, maybe you have a section for repertoire underneath the bio or in the same sort of folder as the bio. Um, those are the main pages that you need. That's the main structure that you need. If you're going to build your own, I recommend Squarespace, Wix, Weebly. They're terrible. WordPress is complicated. Um, if you're going to hire somebody, make sure that they're good. Make sure that they don't rip you off. That's it. Go get, your, get yourselves a website. Thanks.